movement. Today we're going to go through the Superman or the alternate arm and leg raise. Uh, a great exercise for focusing on lower back and core strength. It can be done from a basic right the way up to a fairly advanced level. We're going to go through the three major coaching points uh, and explain the ways that you can progress the movement. So initially when we start the Superman exercise, upper back or thoracic should be switched off, the chin should be tucked into the chest, we should be nice and neutral through the neck, the shoulders should be relaxed and there should be a slight curvature through the lower back. Just enough to allow our thumbs to go through. From there, we take a deep breath in. As, the, as we breathe in, the belly drops. As we breathe out, the belly comes in. So a nice deep diaphragmatic breath. As we breathe out, belly comes towards the spine. We're then going to raise the arm and leg at the same time to increase the load. But again, what tends to happen is we create this curvature here. So you want to just tuck the tail under slightly to finger's width, but we don't want to allow the back to come up. So the shoulders must stay up. Chin head goes up, chin goes down. A good solid reach, we lengthen through the back of the leg, we keep this curvature, so a bit more of a tilt, to try and maintain a bit more neutral through the spine, and we want to make sure we squeeze up through the glutes. So, shoulders off, chin down, glute on. You allow that arm to come back down again at the same time as the leg, and just remember we want to avoid massive curvature through the lower back. So we just tuck the tail under at the beginning, if you feel you cannot sustain that, then what we do is we go to just a simple raise. So at this point, all we do is we raise the arm and the knee off the floor, but trying to maintain nice and neutral through the back. So same breathing pattern, take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, we raise the hand and the knee maybe one inch off the floor. We hold that position, but we brace through the trunk first. So this is your kind of prerequisite before you go into lengthening. So get the basics right, and then once you've got those basics right, then progress the movement. Next week we'll look at a maybe more advanced version, uh, we'll look at another phase of exercise that can help to improve your lower back and your core strength. Hi all, so for this week's Movement Monday feature, we're still continuing the theme with our posterior chain and back care exercises with a really simple prone cobra. So the idea of a prone cobra is to engage the upper back, lower back, gluteal area and even just a little bit of triceps. So the idea of the exercise is to bring the arms down to the side. You're going to externally rotate your wrists and your arms, so your thumbs pointing up to the ceiling. You're going to lift your chest slightly to the floor. That's going to engage the lumbar erectus. Don't go too high because you'll get too much of a pinching sensation through the lower back. Squeeze the upper back. Chin stays slightly tucked in. Triceps engaged, and really important to contract the lower, the, uh, lower glutes or the glutes. That's going to help the lower back. Glutes on. Now to progress the exercise slightly further, if you're able to, you can lift the legs slightly off the floor, which is going to emphasise the demand on your lower back. You must squeeze the glutes, shoulder blades together, thumbs up, chin in. Now the idea is that entry level is to hold for about 10 to 20 seconds, and you can repeat as many sets as you feel appropriate. Our gold standards, what we're trying to achieve is up to two minutes of continuous time under tension. Break it down to small chunks and see how you get on. Okay, so welcome to another kind of uh, core activation drill. Uh, we're going to talk today about actually how well you can recruit through your inner unit. So your deep abdominal wall, transverse, uh, really the kind of basics of any of the fundamental movement patterns that we've gone through so far. Um, we've gone through the Superman, which is an opposite arm to opposite leg raise. We've gone into a prone cobra, and today we're going to very much touch on the plank exercise and the three, three progressions that you can have from base level uh, up to your full plank. So, the first drill we're looking at if you cannot activate through your belly button, so in other words, if you cannot just lightly pull your belly button towards your spine without using your upper back or using your lower back, what some people tend to do is when they pull their tummy in, they push up from here or they push up from here. That is essentially a faulty motor pattern uh, and needs to be regressed. So it's important you can understand to take the tension in your tummy and not in your upper back or lower back. So the first phase is a very simple breathing pattern. The way that works, is you take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe in, you try and push your belly button in towards the floor, and then as you breathe out, you gently pull your belly button towards the spine. Try and hold that for 10 seconds, and then release, and you may do four or five sets of that, just to engage the kind of lower muscles in the abdominal wall. 
Phase two is the knee plank. So what happens here is you take yourself into a knee position. Now what's really important again is making sure that the head, the shoulders, the neck, the belly button, these are all active and in line. What we want to look for is a slight curvature through your lower back as normal for a normal curvature of the spine. But again, we're looking to hold this position with less movement in upper back, less movement in lower back. Breathing pattern remains the same, so it's another deep diaphragmatical breath. As you breathe out, you pull your belly button towards the spine and then you hold. Then the next phase, the final one, is the full plank. This is where you're up onto your toes. So once you're in this position, we want to make sure the tail is under again. Abs are nice and tight, upper back is switched off, the chin is tucked into the chest, you haven't got forward neck flexion, shoulders are relaxed, glutes are on, and that is the position we are looking at for your full plank. So in our fourth video out of our anterior and posterior core sequence, today we're going through a really popular exercise called the dead bug. So we're just going to get Millie set up into dead bug. So tabletop position, arms vertical, just going to pull the shoulders down, arms nice and straight. Tilt the pelvis so we get that slight indentation on the lower back. Diaphragmatic breath with that nice deep breath in with the belly. As you exhale, you're going to pull in through the belly button so you're setting the transverse abdominis, that almost corset. Then, neuromuscularly challenging, so challenging the brain as well, is opposite arm and leg. So you're going to reach back with the arm, fully extend the leg, keep pressure, belly button drawn in, back up to the top, pause, set, and then reload off to the other side. Pause, set, and then back up, keeping that little bit of pressure, belly button drawn in, and nice tabletop and arm position. 